If you're on the lookout for interesting and unique units, this helicopter unit would be high on my list. It's the OH-6 Aeroscout platoon for NAM. Join me as we have a look inside the box. Uh, I mean, bag. This is VUSBX04, the OH-6 Aeroscout platoon in plastic for NAM. This gives you two plastic OH-6 Loach helicopter kits used as scouts. I bought this direct from Battlefront's NAM store and it arrived like this, in a plastic bag. It took me right back to my childhood in the 70s buying Airfix model kits in header bags. This product comes in at 27 US dollars, about 45 Australian dollars or $22.50 per chopper. Cheaper than most current helicopter kits, but still a bit pricey for two tiny plastic choppers. But I guess no one forced me to buy it. So what do you get in the bag? You get parts for two OH-6 helicopters, two short flight stands, a decal sheet, eight rare earth magnets and two metal door gunners. You don't get a unit card. NAM has unit card packs you buy separately. Let's look at the plastic. Each helicopter comes on a single sprue of medium grey plastic. This is one of Battlefront's very early plastic kits. Despite that, the detail and moulding seem OK. Detail is adequate and well defined, while in general parts are crisp and strongly moulded. The right hand passenger door is moulded as a separate piece. This is where you mount the door gunners if you use them. The front of the canopy is a separate piece as well. This should avoid obvious join lines down the front. The kit also includes a 7.62mm Gatling gun on the left side, mounted just below the passenger door. This was angled downwards so it could be fired at ground targets while in flight. The landing skids do have locating holes in the helicopter's fuselage, but this looks like it might be a potential weak point. In the 1960s, the US Army transitioned to operating rotary wing aircraft. The Hughes-designed OH-6 light observation helicopter replaced the fixed-wing Cessna 01 bird dog in the scouting and spotting roles. With a crew of pilot and door gunner, the Loach could carry up to four passengers. In addition to utility and scouting, OH-6s were part of pink or purple teams, paired with either a single or pair of AH-1 Cobra attack helicopters. The loach would fly low and draw ground fire which the cobras would then attack. As might be expected, this tactic saw quite a few OH-6s lost. Many OH-6s were unarmed, but they could mount door guns or a 7.62mm minigun. It proved a versatile airframe and has been further developed to carry different weapons and provide Special Forces teams airlift. Let's look at using the loach on the table. You get a couple of options. You can use them as a pink team with US forces with one loach and an AH-1 Cobra. In this configuration, the OH-6 gets the hunter-killer and low bird rules. Hunter-killer works as it does for Team Yankee, where the helicopter gets concealment from incoming fire so long as there's intervening tall terrain within four inches. It also counts as gone to ground when moving. Low bird allows a helicopter to search objectives, a NAM rule used to spot hidden teams. It also means no enemy teams within four inches of the helicopter can be gone to ground. Courage, skill and morale are all three plus. It was dangerous work and these were well-trained crews. While they're hit on a four plus, the aircraft save is a five plus. Aircraft are fragile and often fall prey to ground fire. The only weapon stat line is the M134 minigun. It has a 16 inch or 40 centimetre range, with a moving rate of fire 4 and 7 when halted. Anti-tank is 2 with a firepower of 6. The cost of the pink team with a spotter and an attack helicopter is 6 points. The OH-6 is also available as an Aeroscout platoon in a US Air Cavalry Troop list. The list allows one compulsory and one optional Aeroscout platoons operating alongside gunship Aero weapons platoons of Cobras. These provide support to the Heliborn Air Cav Infantry. Australian forces also get this helicopter as an artillery observer. This is not quite accurate. 161 Reconnaissance Flight actually operated Bell H-13 Sioux Light helicopters and bird dog aircraft. But the OH-6 will do as a proxy. 
these spotters were called possums by the Australian troops. The stats are quite different. The Aussie OH6 gets the Observer and Scout special rules. Observer means it can spot for artillery teams. Our man in Saigon Errata mentions that the loach doesn't reduce the score needed for the battery to range in. Scout means the unit remains gone to ground when moving if it's concealed by terrain. This means the chopper is much harder to hit if it hugs the trees or buildings. Courage and morale are 4+, plus, while the skill is 3+. Plus. These spotters are well trained, but they don't take unnecessary risks. They're hit on a 4+, plus, and despite what the card and book say, they have a 5+, plus aircraft save. Unfortunately, the Australian forces in the NAM book and cards are riddled with errors. You need to keep the errata sheet close by when building lists and during play. Australian OH6s are just spotters. They're unarmed and there are no weapon stat lines here. If you have a look at the Australian Task Force list on NAM's Forces page, the Loach OP helicopter is a divisional support asset. You must have an artillery team or firebase in your force in order to include this unit. Adding the OP chopper to your force is one point. So that's the OH6 Aeroscout platoon bag for NAM. While I have given it a bit of light-hearted stick for cost and the bag packaging, this is a nice little helicopter kit. There are a couple of different interesting lists that give you options for how to field them. I'd love to try the US Air Mobile list, but I'd need so many helicopter kits. Maybe a pink team as an add-on for my Australians. But it's more likely I'll use them as a possum spotter for my Australians, directing artillery fire support missions. Have you used these in NAM? What unit did you field, and did they prove to be worth the points? Maybe let us know in the comments below.